from WXOW, this is Lacrosse's own News 19 6 p.m. report. We do not need to panic about the fact that we have cases in our county. We knew this would happen. Lacrosse County does have its first cases of COVID-19. Health Department Director Jen Rombowski confirming today what most everyone suspected and more cases are a near certainty. Good evening, everyone. I'm Scott Hackworth. Mo both of the COVID-19 patients are women ranging in age from their late 20s to their 40s. Both are in isolation at home. We'll have more details on those cases in just a moment. While health officials nationwide have adopted a policy of not identifying the patients with confirmed cases, we also learned today that the school District of Onalaska sent a letter to parents today announcing that one patient with a confirmed case of COVID-19 is a household member of a student at Eagle Bluff Elementary. School officials have determined the risk of exposure to the student is low. Eagle Bluff is currently closed, as is every other school in Wisconsin, but the district has now put all facilities on lockdown. Parents needing to pick up school supplies must coordinate with school officials. Well, the past few weeks have brought wave after wave of bad news about the spread of the virus despite our efforts at containment. That's even though health officials say it's too early to tell if those containment efforts are working. People are are desperate for good news. As News 19's Marcus Arswold tells you, rather than panic, local health officials encourage perspective and preparation. These individuals are not hospitalized, they are at home, and they are not very severely ill. Two La Crosse County women who tested positive for COVID-19 are self-isolating at their homes. After experiencing minor symptoms, they called their primary care providers. So they had symptoms, and as they presented symptoms and described what had happened, um, that's how testing was determined to be appropriate for those individuals. Rambalski says this is how people concerned with their health should act. If you have symptoms, then your first call would be to the healthcare provider, your normal clinic provider. They will appropriately triage you to determine if they think you need to come in for testing of any kind, whether that's influenza or COVID-19. Health officials say they're expecting more calls related to COVID-19. <laughs> we want you to call us if you have signs and symptoms yeah. of infection and think you might need to be tested for this infection. During this focus on COVID-19, people with other medical appointments or scheduled treatments should be prepared to reschedule. As it relates to surgery, procedures, clinic visits, any of those things, we will be calling you. Our clinics will remain open, um, but we're selecting which patients should come in and not come in. There's, and we're gonna, both systems are figuring out how best to connect with these patients. We still need to deliver health care. Working to balance a new and ever-changing health scare with regular concerns. In La Crosse, Marcus Arsvold, News 19. And another fact that should offer perspective, there are still no deaths in Wisconsin related to COVID-19.